Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to make one of these hemp anklets. So there are different ways to tie the knot. I just decided to leave it open like this so you can tie it when you put it on. So there's a loophole right here. Uh, it's not focusing. Um, but yeah, and then over here there's two strings so you put one through and then you tie a knot. Okay, so for this uh, hemp anklet you're going to need some beads, or rather one bead. But I got these from Michaels for two or three dollars, I think. And you're also going to need hemp twine, which um, says right here, hemp twine. Mine that I'm using right now for this is 1.5 mm. You can buy uh, different thicknesses, and they're all there's 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2. I think that's all there is, but I'm not sure. So you can choose, you know, which thickness you would like. But for this one, I'm using 1.5. And you're also going to need a clipboard, which I got from the dollar store. I measured this anklet, and it's about 8 inches long. I measured it because I wanted to know how much string I would need to use. Um, and also, I don't know if it's, it might be a good tip for you, but you might want to keep it in a Ziploc bag because I heard that hemp string does dry out, but I'm not sure, so I thought I kept it in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so for this, you're going to need two pieces of 17 inch string and then another two pieces of 40 inches. Um, I think it should be enough, but you might have leftovers, so feel free to skip to the end of the video to see how much leftover string I have so you don't waste any. And um, this is, you need like such a big difference um, because here, these two, um, they just stay here, they don't do anything. So those two inside strings are going to be the shorter one and the two outside strings are going to be the longer one. I measured out my 17, two of them. I measured the, both of them out. And I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to need this loop for this loop here so that's why I keep it so I'm gonna cut the end though okay so I just measured out my 40 inch string which is really long I measured both of them out and I'm gonna cut the end and I still have the loop here I didn't end up cutting either of the loops because I'll just wait to do that at the end, so now I just tie a knot, a normal knot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clipboard because it's easier rather than using tape. Because when I use tape, um, when I pull on it, it always comes off. So I'll just use a clipboard and I'll just clip it on like this. And then what I have to do now is find the two shorter strings, which is right here. These are the short ones, and I'll leave them in the middle. And then now I have my two long ones, and they're really long. Okay, so there are two ways of doing this. Um, you can either um, do the knots this way, or this way. So they're both the same, they'll both turn out the same, it's just, you know, your preference, I guess. I'm gonna go this way. So what you do is like you make kind of like a four, so the two strings are in the middle, and then put this here, so you hold on to it like this, you put it on top over it, then you take the other one, just take the whole thing, move this to the side, and then you take this one, you put over here, the end, and then you put it under, through the middle. And by doing that, you should get a knot around the two strings. And then you just tighten it. Make sure you tighten it the same every time so, you know, it'll look the same. And you basically just keep doing, when you keep doing it that way, it'll start to twist. But then if you do it this way, and you start doing it this way, you'll make, um, like, just like a flat, um, hemp bracelet. Which is also another kind of bracelet. But yeah, and then I'm just going to keep doing it.
So you can see it start to twisting right here. You can see it start to twist. Right there. I've been doing this and I haven't moved this yet, but it's starting to twist really bad. So I'm going to move this. So it's easier for me to actually do it from when it's um, flat. Like this. So you can just twist it throughout. Okay, so I'm basically finished. Now all I have to do is put on a bead and then tie it up. But I'm going to show you how much leftover string I have, um, which is actually not a lot. So I'll measure it out. Um, depending on how you know wide your ankle is, you might need more or less. But I made mine to be about almost 8 inches. And then when I put on the bead, it'll be a little bit more than 8. I'm going to put on the bead now, but first let me show you how much leftover string I have. Um, remember the 17 inch strings that I cut? Well, now these two, they were 40 inches before, but now they're shorter than the 17 inch string. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the bead. I'm taking this bead. And I'm going to take the inside too. And I'm going to put it through. That's another thing. If your strings are too thick, then it's going to be really hard to push the beads through. But I'll try. Okay, so I pushed the string, I pushed this through, and I'm just, and I can tell from my last one I didn't have anything, I just left it here, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one because, yeah, so I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to tie a normal knot just to secure it, and I think I'll do another one just because I'm weird. really close to the edge. Okay. Now I just have this. And then I'm going to decide how long I want to make my two. Because, you know, I'm going to loop it through. Like this. So, I don't need this much to loop it through. Okay, so the last step is to tie it, which I will. I think I'm just going to leave like this much. So you can see from this one, I'm just always using this as an example, but yeah. It's like this long, and it works for me. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to make a normal knot so it looks better. And then let me see how long to make it. And it all depends on your preference, too. I'm not going to cut it yet. First, I'm going to try it on to see if I like it. And then I'm just going to tie it. And then when these dangle, this is how long they'll be. So I guess that's okay with me. Okay, so now you have your beaded hemp anklet. And at first it'll be a little rough. But the, um, the thicker they are, the less rough they are, which is why I like using the thick ones. And this is the old one. It, it gets soft over time. This one's really soft. And I just want to show you uh, what a 0.5 hemp one looks like, because I made one of those. So this is 1.5, and this is 1.5 also, but this is 0.5, and as you can see, it's really small. Let me see. There. So the curls are really small. Oh, this one, here. Looks like that. So, hope you enjoyed, and good luck on yours.